and welcome back to another episode of Car Spec Garage. And in today's episode, this is part two of the Audi R8 manual conversion. Today, we're going to be working on the transmission. Let's get started. Now, Johnny is working on removing the back filter in the transmission so we can get her drained properly before we move on to the next stage. All right, now on to the transmission cooler lines. Johnny has removed both of the lines. Once he drains them, we'll just set them aside uh, because we'll be putting them right back on the transmission fairly quick. And you guessed correctly, Johnny is removing the top portion of the Artronic system off the transmission and we'll just set it aside on the bench until we figure out what to do with it. Look how pretty she looks inside. You guessed right again. Now we're going to remove the hydraulic reservoir for the Artronic system and set that aside as well on the bench. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with all these parts. Maybe sell them, maybe throw them away, who knows. All right, the Artronic system has been removed and just look at how much space we have reclaimed in this engine bay. Here, Johnny has removed all the bolts on the back part of the transmission and now he's just prying it off the transmission housing itself. Once those, or once the back half of the transmission is out, then we'll move on to getting the gears that will be exposed off the car and then from there we can go a little bit deeper in the transmission for the conversion. And we have gears. So here Johnny is removing the gears uh, off the back part of the transmission. I think that is the reverse gear that you're looking at or the reverse shift fork. Uh, once we get all the gears removed here, then we'll be able to go a little bit deeper into the transmission to where we'll be able to remove the shift rods and the other forks. Okay, now time for the second half of the transmission to be removed. We left the transmission mounts on it. We jacked the transmission up just a little bit. So all of that will slide out as one unit. And then we'll expose the whole section of the transmission to remove the forks and the rods. So let's fast forward just a little bit for time's sake. And second half of the transmission's off. Just look how pretty those gears look. Everything really did look good in the transmission. All right, so Johnny is now removing the two shift rods and the forks that are attached. These are the Artronic versions of them, so the manual ones will be a little bit skinnier in diameter um, and once we have these um, shift forks and the rods removed then we'll start the process of inserting the uh, bushings into the transmissions there's gonna be four bushings total uh, two on the back half of the transmission and then two on the casing that we just pulled off as well And here, Johnny now is applying Loctite 680 to the bushings, and he will be inserting the bushings into the center part of the case that's still mounted onto the motor itself. And there'll be a total of three going in. Alrighty, now on to the casing that we removed from the transmission. Johnny is focusing on putting the two bushings in that part of the case. Uh, once those are completed, then we'll be able to now start to put that 
um, case back in place once we have the new shift rods and forks put in. And shift forks and rods are now being installed. Once those are done, then we're gonna start buttoning this thing back up. Stay tuned. Shift forks have been installed. Now we're putting some RTV on the casing. Just remember RTV, a small amount of it will go a long way. Okay, so this is probably one of the most important parts of the project. Here Johnny is removing eight millimeters off of this shift rod. It's important because once we put the back cover onto the transmission, it's got to have a little clearance inside there. We forgot to cut it off before putting it in the transmission, so better late than never. Alrighty, gears are back on as you can see here. Now next we're going to get that back cover put on the transmission and we're going to call it a day. This has been a long day working on the transmission but after this is over with this project is going to be so worth it. Please like, subscribe and ring that bell and see you in the next episode.